He is someone who has transformed the education system across the Indian schools in Oman. Dr. Baby Sam, welcome to Spotlight. Thank you, Nisha. Thank you for hosting me. It's a pleasure for us as well. Doctor, I just wanted to ask this question towards the end of our conversation, but I think I'll start with it. Uh, you've been associated with Indian schools for quite some time. Uh, you've been in the board, this is the second time you're in the board, and okay. you're the first as chairman, which is coming to an end soon. The curious question that I want to ask is, why are you not contesting again? Well, uh, you're right, I'm not running this time. Um, it's time to give way to fresh young blood. Um, seriously, I have been I have been at this uh, non-stop for the last four years, as you rightly said. First uh, first term as a director, then now uh, you know this term as a chairman. Um, as much as I've relished this experience, uh, I had to keep uh, on hold a lot of projects, and it's time to get back to that. Tireless journey. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So, doctor, while we talk about the co-curricular activities, you know, yes. uh, parents obviously these days gives more importance to academics as well. I mean, Absolutely. that's that's one of the primary thing that. That's the reason why they send students to the schools. Uh, what are the initiatives you've taken in that aspect? You're very right, Nishad. You know, for a, for a parent, for a student, as well for the school, the most relevant or the most clear indicator of uh, success, uh, even today, is nothing but academics and the major area of concern. I, I agree to it. I'm so happy to share that, you know, 2019 board results was the best in the history of Indian schools ever. Okay. And not only, uh, you know, in, in Oman, it's one of the best results in the region as well, whatever our, 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 our board results were. Now, uh, strengthening academics means, uh, you know, you need to have positive policies in place. You need to empower uh, our, our people. We need to enhance our resources. So for which, uh, you know, we, we, we formed an academic advisory council and a technology advisory council and a special education advisory council. I'm sure it was never an easy, you know, sort of journey for you over the last four years. I'm sure you must have had your share of criticisms as well. How do you, looking back, how do you take all that? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, it, it, as you rightly said, it has never been easy. Uh, but at the same time, some of the challenges were very enlightening as well. But, uh, you know, Nishad, if you really look at it, uh, end of the day, it's a team effort. True. It's not me, myself. Uh, you know, you have a board. You have uh, a board office, a very vibrant board office. You have the school uh, management committees. You have administrators. You have the, the, the wonderfully dedicated teaching community. So it's been a team effort altogether. Now, uh, what has been disheartening at some point of time was, uh, you know, when people criticize you without understanding what the system is, how the system operates, and what the reality and what the fact is. So that has been sometimes disheartening. Uh, in an era of, of fake news and altered <laughs> facts, uh, I, I've I, heard a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think you know, uh, you know, we need to get out of our comfort zones to understand what what the reality is uh, before we decide on something and before we we believe on something. Yeah, but you've done I, some amazing stuff. Like I mean, as we just spoke, many things that you've done. But uh, at any point, did you regret, you know, being part of the system and leading it from the front? Uh, I would say, I mean, it would be, uh, it would be a lie if I say no. Uh, yes, there have been instances, but uh, you know, where, where I felt the same. You know, you, you are a professional. Why did you get into this? And that, at the end of the day, it's, it's a very, it's a voluntary service. But then, uh, overall, in a nutshell, if you really look at it, as I said, it's a, it's a fulfilling experience, and it's been a great uh, learning curve for me. So, uh, I would love to cherish this experience. How can uh, you know Indian schools grow further? I mean. Like say in next ten years, what major changes can we see within the Indian schools in Oman? There is uh, no way that we we can be the way we are today. Our schooling system should uh, transform themselves from information centers to centers of excellence. Our schools needs to be twenty first century space of twenty first century learning and teaching. And because we are uh, preparing a new generation for jobs that do not exist. So that, that transformation is inevitable. You know, being the chairman is never easy. Uh, I'm sure, you know, like we just said, a lot of criticism that comes your way, a lot of things to do. You spend a lot of time within the system, spending time with students, teachers, and the management committee members. Uh, how do you motivate yourself? Well, uh, you know, it was a choice that I've, you know, personally made to be part of the system. Uh, the the prime reason of motivation is to you know to to empower uh, you know or rather to bring up a new generation which is going to be 
uh, you know, more committed towards the society, you know, to be more considerate, to be more humane in nature. So uh, that is quite possible, I strongly believe, is through holistic education. Uh, you know, I remember the words of Andrea Sepidok, who the 2018 uh, World's Best Teacher Award has been conferred to her. You know, she has been asked this question, how are you able to do this? Uh, you know, you cannot, it, it's impossible to be so, so selfless and, you know, go out of your way to, you know, support the student community the way you are doing it. And the answer she gave is like, you know, the, the future of my nation uh, belongs to these, uh, you know, these kids. Uh, I echo her same thoughts uh, and, you know, as I said, like, for me, it has been a very fulfilling journey.